I'm going to make these charms out of a pin and some beads. Can I see what the pin looks like, dear? Real close. There we go. That was nice. Really don't. I think they're called T pins. Alright. So, what you do is you take a button. I'm going to use black ones because I feel like it. This one. I'm going to just take out a couple and see which one I want. Ah, perfect. This is going to be a quick video. My fingers are You're going to take the pen and you're just going to get some glue. Stick it on. Let it go. <laughs> and I can't see your pen. Okay, so. Too close. Where is it? Okay. And you're just going to stick it on. Doop. There it is, folks. Right there. Then you can just get some beads. I'm just, no, I'm going to use uh, some green beads. Oh, those are nice antique beads. Stick it under. And then you just stick some beads on the pin. And you get We were cleaning up today, and I didn't even know we had these tea pins. Nope, and here doesn't they are. fit. And, and Nora had watched a video on how to make these. So she got busy. So that's all I'm going to put on. It looks nice. like that. Uh, what you're going to do is just glue the end here so it doesn't come off like that. Yep. Okay. And all our other ways of doing it? You just... Great top tries. And there's another way to do it. I'm just going to stick this on the metal so it doesn't get on the bread. There's, there's the one she's already made. And then I made this one just out of a normal pen. I have one in here somewhere. Folks. There's some over here. Um, okay. Everything's organized. It's hard to find anything. A normal sewing. No, pin. that is a um, corsage pin. Corsage pin. So you can just get another button. I'm just gonna use the same but buttons because I don't want to reach all the way over there and do it again. I think these look pretty. No, not another button. I'm going crazy here. I'm forgetting everything because I did it all very early this morning. Well, actually in the afternoon. It's getting late. Seven something. So, you can just... <laughs> not supposed to be doing with this kind of thing. I'm going to find the ones in here. You can <laughs> also do it with buttons. Did you want to try it with one of my buttons? Do buttons and beads together. Yes. I'm 
was gonna use this tiny one for the first one. Just stick it on. And I like this metal. I like this metal one, so I'm gonna stick that on too. Oh, it just fell. You might wanna save the pen. <laughs> <laughs> it fell. Okay. I found it. <laughs> Yay. I didn't want anybody stepping on that. That would hurt. The crowd goes wild. Weird. <laughs> Doesn't even hurt. Okay. You just stick some things on there. Like, I'm going to stick another bead. Antique green beads. And a black bead. And a weird bead. I don't even know what it is. It's a call. Oh, it's, a, it's a button. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird bead. If it's a bead, it would be weird. Okay, and then you go like that, and then you get the hot glue gun. And you just go around. Sorry, folks. You'll have to imagine. And then my video skills are not that great today. They look. I'm just gonna set that down. Let me see that. Maybe I can get it to show up. Mm -hmm. Let's Not bring up. it over here. See if we can focus. Oh boy, that's bright. It's just. It looks better in person, folks. I'm sorry, but there it is. There's the little curly top to it with the buttons. It's beautiful. We'll have to show you some in a journal one of these days when we get them all put in. We're just starting a new one. Thanks for watching. That's all.